Zaza Furi is raining like uh, quite a bit. Raining yes. Zaza. Yeah, raining in a Zaza like way. Uh, the English word they they tell you downpour as a downpour big word for it. But if you just say it's raining a lot, that is perfect. <laughs> Yes, it raining cats and dogs. Exactly. <laughs> yep. So there's a lot of occasions where you might want a noun instead, such as which is that is a raining cats and dogs. That is some right. down for um versus if you just want to say you I, just, yeah. I actually some time ago I actually found out the origin of that phrase. Well, Did you know? I don't know the it's, origin. It's basically the roof of the people that live in England back then oh. was the way they thatch it. Would they thatch it out of um, like it, it? It wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, um, it it was. It was some kind of uh, like hay. They 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 compact hay, and cats and dog like to climb on top of the roof. But when it rains. <laughs> They, they, the, like, the, leap roof, off? The, the, the roof get weakened because the rain pours a lot onto the hay so it it it, it um it, the, the the dog or the cat would would collapse from oh, the no. roof into the house that... so it it basically oh, means rains a lot <laughs> oh I, that's so interesting that is really funny <laughs> yes. um so that okay that was a tangent sorry <laughs> <laughs> so so da the nai form of da is a little different than like most things because it's dewa nai the, the dewa negative nai. form of da dewa nai and dewa that nai. is there for Jesus. well this this sounds like de ari yes or de gozaimas it is similar to that this nai does come from like this... aru which is the negative form of that right. so theoretically de doesn't really have a nai form because it's dewa nai, so it's like kind of weird. Because de is the te form of da, and then like, so it's like dewa weird nai. if you think about it. But it it's it's when you want to have da in negative form, they use dewa nai to convey that. Hi. Um. Do you know what karada means? Karada is a the body. Perfect. What do you think this sentence means? Zaza furi dewa nai. Zaza furi dewa nai. It did not rain. Zaza. Mm. Yes, it did not rain in the Zaza way. So it did not rain heavily, is what it's saying. It could be uh, raining, I... but specifically it's not raining heavily. Zaza furi de wa nai. So our next word is furu eru. Yeah, furu eru. I forgot the do right there. This is to shake, but not shake. like to grab something and shake it in your hand. This is like a tremble. To to be shaken, the, kind of, yes, it, it, the thing shakes. Yes, not... exactly. Uh, yes, the thing shakes. And do you recognize this kanji? Harada. Perfect. What do you think furue dasu means? Furue dasu. It started shaking. Yes, it started. It started shaking. trembling. Yep. Perfect. So if I want to say. My body is trembling. What particle do you think would use? Karada ga furu eta. Perfect. Yep. Now we got a new sound effect. Gata gata. This is like gata, the sound gata. of like creaking or like your teeth knocking into itself. Like when you're tre tre trembling and you're like, your bones are like yeah. vibrating against each other, basically. Right. Uh, which <laughs> thing does it get down here? It get to. Perfect. To. And now we have an E adjective, which is tsumetai. You know what this means? It's, it's cold. Perfect. Tsumetai. So what do we need to do to make this into a grammatical sentence? Gata gata. Gata gata to furueta. Perfect. To, sh to tremble in a gata gata like way. Gata, 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 which gata, is gata. like your bones are rattling kind of way. How about this? What's missing from here? Sumetai ame furidasu. It started. It started raining. So, uh, sumetai am ame ga furidasu. Perfect. Yep. It starts raining cold. Raining it cold. starts cold raining. <laughs> yeah, uh, correct. what's this word again? Karada. Perfect. Perfect. 
So this word right here, kaisu, you don't need to learn it. I just had an example sentence and I wanted to use kaisu. This is to return something. To return. Hi. So right here is ga. Ga is very similar to keredo that we learned in the past. Ga is used more, I would say, in Japanese. It's like a but without having any kind of like connotation to it. <laughs> like keredo is like a more like but like it's like saying that <laughs> versus just ga is just kind of like a a lot of times you'll see it just like a way to like continue the sentence almost. But normally there is some amount of difference between going on just like with but but basically it's a non-aggressive but is how i would put ga right. um can you do me a favor and read the sentence for me madoseki wo nusunda ga sugu ni kaeshita meaning sugu sugu ni soon return yep. soon so um the magical stone was stolen but it was quickly returned. Perfect. That's exactly what it's saying. Perfect. So how would you say it wasn't a downpour, but I was shaking? Um, so we got zaza furi, karada, and furueru. It was, wasn't downpour. Zaza, zaza furi. It wasn't downpour. Zaza furi. Um, furi de wa nai? Yeah. Furi de wa nai ga. Can I do that? Yeah, that's a grammatical kara, Karada, da, kara da, and then I say kara da ga furueru. So this oh, is, it wasn't fue, a damn word. Furuete. Furuete. Uh, furueta. Shaking? Uh, shaking true. Oh, was, be, um, I'm sorry. Ita. If you want to do that, it would be ita. Ita. would be um ita. was shaking. That's that's correct. It would be ita. Ita. I just furueta what is just um did shake, I guess. But I did shake. So I was shaking your crack would be furuete ita. Furuete ita. So next word is shin. Shin is a word that doesn't have shin. a direct translation in English. It is basically like the center of something. Like, but this is used to refer to like the wick of a candle or perhaps the marrow of your bones. So it's the core. Oh, I see. So it's not like the it's middle core. necessarily in the middle of an object, but like the the main center area, basically. That may or may not be why kokoro is in here, which is heart. Shin. Hi. So what do you think karada no shin made might mean? Karada no shin made. All the way into the core of my body. Exactly. Or all the way to the core of the body. Yes. Yep. So our next word is oh. shimiru, which is a word that I always think about as the soaking because it shows up, the kanji shows up in staining things, but it can also Mo mean the penetrate. I'm Mune. sorry, Mooney. Can I get the door yeah. real quick? Totally. Yeah. I'll even pause and resume. So what does shimiru mean? Shimeru, um, it had the water character, mm, yeah, and the tree character. Nine I, for some I don't reason. know this one. <laughs> so, shimeru is um, to stain something like the kanji is used for the stain, but specifically, it is to soak or to penetrate. Soak, shimeru. Okay. But this kanji shows up with stains. So like a shimi, shimi, for example, is literally the word stain. Shimi. But uh, we need the verb here. Shimi. So komu, I can't remember if we taught this before, but komu means basically to cram something inside. So to soak and to cram something inside, shimiru and komu, uh, shimiru is a do verb, is makes the word shimi komu. Shimi komu. And this is basically to basically like completely soak something into something. So something is like completely soaked in. So the soaking is basically complete, like 100% sopping wet or 100% stained, if you wanted that. What do you think the te form is of the komu? 
We haven't really focused on this one. We normally do um do's. And do you know how this is? It's shimi konde. Yeah, perfect. Konde. Nice. Um, can you tell me what the sentence means? Karada no shinmare shimi komu. Meaning it's soak or it penetrate all the way into the core of my body perfect yep exactly now you get to go read our sentence zaza furi de wa nai ga tsumetai ame ga karada no shin made shimikonde karada ga Gatta gatta to furu e dasu. Hi. So it did not rain. It, it wasn't pouring, but um, the cold rain um, soaked into my core and my body started trembling gara gara yeah exactly gara gara so it's kind of like my gata, gata, trembling gata. to the extent that my bones are rattling kind of is what that gata gata sound is gata gata. Gata. right <laughs> oh and that is how much i had oh <laughs> recipes <Yay>. prepared. <laughs> you're like oh, freedom uh <laughs> didn't totally make the time uh i was close though 640 wow <laughs> we can uh i guess we can stop the recording and yeah